Why do cows have hooves instead of feet? Because they lack toes. <laughs> oh God! Someone help me. In this video, I'm going to answer the question of is dairy bad for you, examine some of the most important facts about dairy for your health, and address some of the most common questions about dairy. You'll also find out if dairy is good for weight loss at the end. First, what are dairy products? Dairy products are food produced from the milk of mammals. Butter, cheese, yogurt, sour cream, ice cream, milk, and whey protein are the most common examples of dairy products. Wait, are eggs dairy? No, I have no idea why people get this confused, but it's very common. Eggs come from chickens and are a bird, therefore not dairy. Now let's look at the six facts and studies about dairy for your health. Fact number one, 65 to 75 percent of people in the world are lactose intolerant. We've only been consuming dairy for around 7,500 years, starting in northern Europe. Since modern humans have been around for roughly 200,000 years, we can see that dairy consumption is a relatively new thing to our species. This is why certain parts of Africa and East Asia are up to 95 percent lactose intolerant still today. I bring this up because being healthy is about eating the things your body was designed to eat. And for many of you, dairy is just not on that menu. Also keep in mind, manifestations of allergies and intolerances are always a little different depending on the person. Some of you may develop severe acne, while others may just feel a little gassy after consuming dairy. These are all signs your body does not like consuming dairy and that you should stop. Fact number two, there's lots of nutrition in dairy products. A single cup of milk contains 30% of your RDA and calcium, 24% of your RDA and vitamin D, 26% of your RDA and riboflavin, and has plenty of potassium, protein, vitamin B12, and various other nutrients your body needs. There's no denying that dairy provides a unique source of nutrients important for our body. Fact number three, dairy is associated with acne. Despite what your dermatologist may tell you, dairy is not good for those of you suffering with acne. Dairy increases the production of MTORC1. This increases the body's sebum production and sizes of sebaceous glands, which increases your risk of developing acne. This is why we see in various studies that milk and dairy consumption is positively correlated with an increased risk in acne. Fact number four, not all dairy seems to be created equally. Fermented dairy products like yogurt and kefir contain probiotics which are excellent for your gut microbiome. Also, the quality of a cow's life and what it's fed affects the nutrition of the dairy product produced. Pasture-raised, grass-fed cows have more omega-3s and have up to 500% more CLA in their products. Not shockingly, happy cows leading happy lives produce better dairy products. Fact number five, there's a lot of sugar content in dairy products. Dairy contains naturally occurring sugar called lactose that is in every dairy product you consume. We've talked about the effects of sugar on the human body in previous videos and why it should be minimized for optimal health. Fact number six, dairy increases IGF-1. IGF-1, our insulin-like growth factor, is statistically increased with the consumption of any dairy product. This growth hormone deserves your attention. IGF-1 production increases your risk of acne and cancer. That being said, not all IGF-1 is bad. For instance, it has a clear benefit to those of you trying to build muscle and gain strength. Okay, let's take a breather. <sighs> I hope that an objective examination of the facts has shown you why dairy is such a controversial topic. There are many positives and many negatives. So let's clear up a few of the common questions about dairy in this Q&A section. Why are there lots of recent studies out there praising dairy? Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Some new positive research has just surfaced on dairy and not surprisingly, these studies were funded by organizations that produce dairy products. As always, the most difficult part about what I do is trying to find studies created with objectivity and not having alternative motives are backing. The dairy industry alone spent $6.4 million lobbying last year. Food for thought. Is dairy bad for you? It really depends on the person. If you're lactose intolerant, suffer with acne, or have any reason to think your body does not process dairy perfectly, I would avoid it. However, if you really enjoy it as a source of nutrition in your diet and don't suffer any of the side effects, it's okay to have. Which leads to the next question. Do you need dairy in your diet.
diet? Absolutely not. While dairy does have lots of important nutrition like calcium, protein, and vitamin B12, you can easily get those from other sources. Leafy greens, lean meats, and whole foods have all of these nutrients without all the sugar or hormone increases associated with dairy. I personally don't consume any dairy for this reason. Does dairy help you lose weight? No. Weight loss is about having two things working correctly, eating the right amount of calories and having properly functioning hormones. Dairy provides no advantage to losing weight and if you have an intolerance, could impede some weight loss progress. What are the best kinds of dairy products to consume? If you're gonna get your dairy on, low fat, unflavored Greek yogurt, kefir, and grass fed whey protein are best. What kind of dairy should you never consume? Anything non-organic I'd avoid because dairy is already shown to raise IGF-1 one, avoiding any extra chemicals pumped into cows is a good idea. Shout out to my homegirl Juju Donut for suggesting this topic on our last video and getting the most upvotes in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and if you have any suggestions for the next video, we'd love to see it in the comments section. And rumor has it for every new subscriber we get, a group of baby sand kittens is born. So please subscribe to The Health Nerd for healthy tips and tricks backed by science. If weight loss is something you're interested in, you can always check out our our online e-course, The Science of Fast Weight Loss. You can see the results from some of our past clients on that page and people we have worked with personally. Links will be in the description and on this screen. Cheers.